Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to balance equations in stoichiometry problems. Let's look at the uh, chemical equation of burning propane. That looks like C3H8 plus um, O2, and the reactants gives us H2O plus CO2 in the products. Now, we want to balance each element on each side. Always start with something other than hydrogen and oxygen and get to hydrogen and oxygen last. So, in this equation, we have carbon. That's different than hydrogen and oxygen, so let's start with that. We have three C's here, three carbons in the reactants, and only one here. So we want to balance them out so they're equal. So let's add a 3 as a coefficient in front of the CO2. Now we have three carbons on both sides. All right, three C's here, so you can keep track. Now let's look at the hydrogen. We have nothing left but hydrogen and oxygen. So we'll do hydrogen before oxygen. Here we have eight hydrogen, and here we have two. So we want 8 on this side. Let's add a 4 as a coefficient here, because 4 times 2 is 8. And we have 8 here, so now we have 8 hydrogens. Now let's look at the oxygen last. We have 2 on this side, and here we have 4, and here we have 6, right? So that's going to make 10 on this side, and only 2 on this side. So let's add a 5 as a coefficient here. So that we have 10 now on this side and 10 on this side. 4 plus 6 is 10. We end up with 10 oxygens. And now we have a perfectly balanced stoichiometry equation. I'm Rachel and thank you for learning with me today.